In the task allocation domain, we were looking for a mechanism which is Pareto efficient, anonymous and strategy proof. And in this module, we are going to give a very interesting mechanism which is known as the uniform rule. This was proposed by Spruma way back in 1991. And here is the mechanism which is very interesting. So let us, uh, without loss of generality, assume that uh, the sum of these peaks is less than 1, which means that the uh, the sum of the most favorite uh, allocations of this task uh, uh, does not allocate the job completely so therefore some agents have to be overloaded now how do we uh, overload so uh, this mechanism starts in the following way in this figure as we have done earlier uh, this is the this is the complete task and this is the zeroth uh, share of the task so on the y axis you have the share of the task and these are different players player one two three four five in this case and this red dots essentially red horizontal lines essentially show that what is their peaks so these are the peaks for each of these agents now uniform rule starts with the uh, allocation of one for all the agents so this is something like a thread uh, or a water level that you have uh, given to all the agents of course this is not feasible because uh, now you have n um, uh, amount of work where you can only allocate one amount of work so the water level now uh, keeps on coming down so this is the this is the idea so or the thread that you are that shows the total allocation uh, the, the allocation of all these tasks is coming down slowly in the in the uniform rate from from top so the first time it hits one of these peaks so let's say in this case this peak is hit then that particular agent will get that peak so let's say p p3 uh, is allocated to agent uh, 3 and for that agent it has been finalized for the rest of the agents it is uh, it keeps on falling again so maybe the next uh, agent to uh, uh, to hit is uh, p1 and then that gets uh, p1 amount of allocation and in each of these uh, stages as it is uniformly uh, coming down uh, you are keeping a running count of how much of the total task has been allocated so so that the whenever the sum of these tasks for all the agents equal one you stop at that point right so the idea i mean you can get the idea very simply i mean it, it's just uh, coming down the thread or the water level is coming down at an uniform rate and that's why the name uniform rule whenever it is hitting any of these peaks that agent gets that peak and for all the other agents it is uh, uh, the uh, that uniform level and that uniform level will stop as long as the sum of the shares of all the agents is exactly equal to one Similarly, when you are uh, when uh, the opposite situation is true, that is, some of these PIs is uh, is strictly greater than one. That means some of the uh, uh, most favorite uh, share of the jobs is uh, more than the total job itself. So therefore, uh, uh, all the agents needs to be underloaded. So that is that is when we will look at the water level, uh, but from the, from the bottom, it, it is uh, uniformly uh, going upwards. And the moment you hit some of these peaks, you allocate that share to that agent and then move on. For the other agents, uh, the, uh, the water level or the thread level keeps on increasing. So fair enough, that is the, that is the uniform rule. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, very easy to explain pictorially rather than writing in time. So even though we are going to do that uh, now. So, um, Whenever you you have the exact uh, the sum of this uh, uh, the shares the peaks is exactly equal to one, then it's uh, uh, unsurprising. So you just have to give each of them uh, each of these agents their peak. Uh, the the thing that we have just written uh, explained uh, in the uh, diagram above that can be written in a in a little more formal way. So you are uh, picking the maximum between these two things so one is this uh, you can think of this is the the thread level um, so 
the the uh, sigma mu of p is the final thread level uh, where uh, where you are stopping so you can take a look at this so suppose the the thread uh, from from top so this is the case uh, that we have considered and the thread stopped at somewhere here so by then all these three agents were uh, were given their uh, favorite tasks and the, the rest of the two agents uh, agent 2 and 5 actually got uh, this share of, of the task and that is where uh, all these uh, shares has actually become equal to 1. You can see that uh, uh, this thread level if you call that as mu of p uh, that thread level is the maximum of that particular players uh, uh, players p and this mu p so mu p is the final point where the thread finally settled and it uh, did not go down any further for the other agents uh, whose peak was above that mu p for them uh, their peak was chosen so that is one way of writing writing the same thing the uniform uh, uh, allocation rule essentially gives the max of these two quantities where mu p is nothing but uh, this one so where you are solving this uh, this max of p1 and mu such that this uh, the sum of these things become equal to one so um, this is uh, uh, this is written in a more formal way the easier way is to visualize using that uh, that figure similarly you can also define the alternative case that is when the sum of these peaks is more than one then you are actually increasing from the from the bottom then you can similarly verify that this is going to be the minimum of their peak and that uh, level that water level where it settled finally now let us try to argue why it is uh, anonymous pe and strategic proof indeed it is uh, uh, it satisfies all these three properties that is the theorem by strumo so the first two things are uh, pretty easy to follow um, we know that anonymity is uh, is when uh, you alter this agent so if you go back to this figure if we if we change the names of these agents their allocation would have also changed so this uh, the thread level or the water level is not tied to any of the agents identities so as long as you have the same set of peaks the corresponding uh, allocation will get uh, altered and that is the definition of anonymity so quite naturally the, the the mechanism is completely agnostic of the agent names it is only uh, tied to the corresponding um, peaks so anonymity is obvious Pareto efficiency. We have already uh, discussed this in the uh, in the module before. That whenever we we have um, a Pareto efficient uh, allocation, it must be the case that when the sum of these peaks is less than one, the allocation should be overloading each of them, and there should not be any situation where someone is overloaded, someone is underloaded. Then that will never be Pareto efficient. So, which is true in this case. So, we um, uh, this uh, mechanism actually gives uh, everybody uh, uh, overloaded or at, uh, at least its uh, its peak uh, if uh, if the sum of the peaks is less than one. Uh, similarly, for the other case, when uh, the sum of the peaks is more than one, then it gives at most their peaks. So, therefore, this mechanism is essentially Pareto efficient. Now let us come to the strategic proofness part, uh, which is quite interesting. So in the in the first case where the sum of the peaks is exactly equal to one, there is nothing to prove. Everybody gets their peak, so there is no reason to misreport for any of these agents. Now case one is the case where the sum of the peaks is less than one. So this uniform rule is essentially over allocating um, uh, the jobs to certain agents, not for all agents. Now, uh, because uh, this is where the thread stopped, so you, you remember that uh, uh, this is the case where the thread was coming from the top. Uh, let us go back to that example. So the, the thread stopped somewhere, somewhere here. Let us uh, continue with that example. So now, um, in order to, so uh, this three agents, so agent three, agent four and agent one, they have no reason to misreport their uh, uh, their preferences because they have got their the, their favorite share of the of the job uh, what can happen for the other two players player two and player five uh, is that if they could have uh, reduced this uh, uh, this uh, allocation closer to their 
to their peak but the uh, but because this is uh, the uh, it is uh, picking the maxima of the thread where it stopped and the peak uh, of each of these agents the only way it can change this uh, allocation is by reporting its peak to be somewhere above that uh, that thread level and that is clearly a suboptimal because at this point it is getting uh, so because this uh, uh, preference is a single peak so they always prefer something uh, something like this allocation more than an allocation which is even further away from its peak so the uh, the allocations fall monotonically from from their peak uh, so they will they will always uh, dislike this alternative uh, than than the current uh, allocation that they are getting so therefore there is no reason and you can argue in a very similar way for the other case where you are increasing the the water level or the thread level from bottom uh, in the in the situation where, where some of this pi is uh, greater than one so there is no reason for any of these agents to uh, uh, misreport their peaks because uh, the only way they can change the outcome is by uh, uh, by reporting their peaks on the other side of that thread which they uh, prefer less so that is essentially uh, uh, the proof where we essentially show that this mechanism, this uniform rule mechanism is uh, strategy proof as well. Uh, the converse is also essentially true uh, for, for any deterministic social choice function that is uh, so, uh, so it should be more formally written as a deterministic because we do not know about the randomized mechanisms. Any deterministic uh, social, uh, a deterministic social choice function that is a strategy proof, pair to efficient and anonymous, if and only if it is an uniform. So that is uh, a result uh, due to Sprumo. The proof is uh, even more involved, so we are not going into it. If you are interested, you can take a look at this reference. Uh, this is the original paper by Sprumo, a division problem with single peak preferences.